What did you make of Harry back there in the third row, like some third rate royal? It was unbelievable, wasn't it? I think the best moment of the day was Princess Anne, who had this very large red plume on top of her ceremonial hat, which blocked Prince Harry's face and his view (laughs) for most of the ceremony. You might remember uh, at the Queen's funeral, the late Queen's funeral, it was a candlestick that obscured the face of Meghan Markle. Was that really a coincidence, Megan? Really, given how carefully the royal family plan everything? I don't think so. But I think Harry actually was incredibly arrogant. He strutted into Westminster Abbey, cracking jokes. Lip readers have actually uh, dismantled his conversation with Jack Brooksbank uh, once he sat down. And even in the Abbey, Megan, he was moaning about his treatment by either the royal family or the British press. He was out of there within minutes, headed straight to Heathrow Airport, leaving King Charles to give a toast to his absent grandson, Prince Archie, on his birthday, saying he didn't know where in the world he was. So Harry goes over to the coronation, doesn't speak to his father, doesn't speak to his stepmother, doesn't speak to his brother, doesn't even bother to speak to Kate Middleton. They used to be so close. And you just think, wow, Meghan got her way, didn't she? She managed Mm. to divide two families. The shots caught by some of the cameras of Harry staring at William across Mm. the church, who's, of course, in the front row, just speak a million words, right, without speaking any. It just shows you the true picture of his envy, his jealousy. You even wrote a column talking about how Harry's got the same receding hairline now, if you walk at him, if you look at him watch walk in that church, that he so uncharitably mocked his brother for. And you can tell like that comment, the reason I raise it is who would say such a thing other than someone who is envious, who's got something more than just a temporary beef with the guy. There's a hatred uh, now on his part. Absolutely. And so much of that business, Megan, has come from the fact that William and Charles and how thick is thieves. That was not always the case. The eldest brother, now the heir to the British throne, had lots of issues with his dad, King Charles, in the same way that Harry did. You know, Charles himself admits that in the days and the years and the months after the death of Princess Diana, he wasn't perfect. But look, what father can cope with that sort of situation? It's incredibly difficult. What I find so fascinating is that it has actually been the real split with Harry and the royal family and the way that Harry has actually tried to destroy the British monarchy that has brought Charles and William so close together. And you saw that on display at various points during the coronation weekend. There was an incredibly poignant moment in front of the world in Westminster Abbey. But then last night, William goes up in front of the tens of thousands gathered for this extraordinary coronation concert, the first ever coronation concert at Windsor Castle, where it was very bizarre, Megan, the likes of Lionel Richie and Katy Perry uh, Mm. joining British acts to sing in front of all of the royals. Very bizarre night, but I have to say, I loved it. And William goes up on stage and invokes the late queen, Elizabeth II, and says, she would be so proud of you, Dad. So this is the royal family coming together in union and saying, you know what, we know Harry and Meghan, you're going to keep throwing these grenades, you're going to try and destroy us, we know that, but we are now united. And I think there is a very bizarre power in the fact that actually it's only really the difficulties with Harry and Meghan that have made William and Charles realize that if they stand strong together, then maybe, just maybe, the British monarchy can survive to another coronation. I actually think after the weekend that will happen. Because look at this family. Look at this beautiful family who have stolen the hearts of the world. And that's the And they're like their children, William and Kate's children. There you see Princess Charlotte and the great little Prince Prince Louis who always steals the show. I love Prince Louis. Anything involving Prince Louis, who I predict right now will never grow up to be like, boo-hoo, I'm the spare, poor me. Fingers crossed. Um, 
And then the other pictures, of course, of Prince George, who's the the next yeah. heir uh, after Prince William, just nailing everything. The photo ops were beautiful. They all looked like they were having a great time. They they did look united. The the couple looked in love. I mean, I have to say, Princess Kate looked amazing. She looked so incredibly royal, of course, given the garments that she was wearing. And you couldn't help but think of the bitter jealousy you just know Meghan Markle was feeling at home alone on her couch. Absolutely. Because she wants the world to hate Kate. I have to say, though, I actually felt, Meghan, when it started to rain, when it poured with rain, and it really did, it, it bucketed down during the coronation. I thought they were the tears of Meghan Markle and Montecito <laughs> watching the wall-to-wall <laughs> coverage on, on American TV and <laughs> thinking, actually, we lost because the Sussexes have lost. They thought this coronation was going to be a disaster. They thought it was going to flop, Meghan. Actually, more people tuned in to this coronation in the UK than tuned in to watch the wedding of Harry and Meghan. Now, look, we know Mm. King Charles is not perfect. I've been highly critical of the guy, okay, over the years. He's a globalist. Uh, He's he's wedded to this uh, nut zero agenda, as I call it. Some connections to the World Economic Forum. He tends to wade into politics. But he has to succeed because if you're a royalist like I am, you have to believe that it's not just about the man, it's not just about the individual, it's about the importance of the institution. And Harry and Meghan thought that they were going to be able to destroy that in the seven months since the late Queen's death, and they failed. They point blank failed because this ceremony was a massive success. Uh, It's had huge international attention, but I can tell you here on the ground in the UK, it's managed to bring a divided country together over the past few days. They the latest stats were uh, the streets were lined with two million people, seven thousand British mm-hmm. troops, one hundred million people watched on TV around the world. That's huge, a hundred million people, and that's that puts the lie to this whole. She she just didn't want to go, Dan, because you see what happens, according to Omid Scobie, their stenographer, is the cameras always find Megan, and she really just thought, I'll sit this one out. That's an obvious lie. She's never seen a camera she doesn't want to put her face in front of, and certainly 100 million viewers would have lured that woman to any place on this earth. So what's the real reason she wasn't there? Look, Megan, you know what it is. She was going to be booed. And the problem is she wasn't just necessarily going to be booed outside of Westminster Abbey. She may have been booed inside. And that was a prospect that she simply could not countenance. Look, you did the tough thing during COVID. You paid your people and pulled your business through the pandemic. And now doing the tough thing could qualify you for up to $26,000 per employee at covidtaxrelief.org. Government funds are available to reward companies with two or more employees who stayed open during COVID. This is not a loan and you don't have to pay it back. The program's complicated, but no one knows more about it than the CPAs and tax pros at covidtaxrelief.org. You pay nothing up front. They do all the work and share a percentage of the cash they get you. Businesses of all types, including nonprofits and churches, can qualify, including those who took PPP loans even if you had increases in sales. You did the tough thing for your employees during COVID. Let covidtaxrelief.org help get you up to $26,000 per employee. Visit covidtaxrelief.org. 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 Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.